Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about a very lesser known concept which is mutable default arguments in Python. So let me write few lines of code to demonstrate what does this mean and how can it impact us. So the very first thing I am doing is I am creating a function append items which, which will take two parameters item and you can say list. So this is the default argument and then I am saying list.append and inside that we will just say item and return the list which we just created so this is what uh, the simple function is and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a call to this function so for that let's create two lists so list one equal to append items and inside this i'm giving 100 let's go ahead and print this list one similarly i'm going to create another list and we'll pass in here 200 as a parameter and list 2 as a printed. Now looking at this code, it looks very simple. So I would suggest you to pause this video here and just think about it, what could be the possible output. And I'm sure most of you are thinking that we will get two lists in the output wherein one list will contain 100 and another will contain 200 which is actually not the case let's check it out so in the output you can see that the first list is containing 100 but this list 2 is containing 100 and 202 elements so this magic is happening all because of these mutable default arguments this is how mutable default arguments are treated in python so what happens here is whenever new list so whenever you are defining a function the list is created at the that time itself and whenever you are calling it or using it it's using the same list for all the successive function calls so it means that if you are mutating the list the same reference will be passed over and over again so even if you are adding or removing it will continue for all the successive function calls okay so now how can we avoid this behavior how can we create a new object every time whenever we are defining such things so definitely one answer could be assigning none so let's check this out how can we make this thing work so instead of saying empty list here we'll say none and here we will see or we will check whether it is none or not if it is none then only we will say assign empty list okay and once this is done and now if we will execute this code you can see that you got the output as expected so 100 and then 200 so this is how you should be careful whenever you are dealing with mutable default arguments if you do not want things to get appended particularly in this scenario then just set it to none and initialize it to empty list only when the value is none otherwise it will keep appending the items so if i will go ahead and make another call to this let's say list three and i'm giving 2000 here still we will get the output as 100 200 and 2000 so this is how you need to take care and this is like very lesser known fact and not every each and every developer is aware of this so i hope you find this small tip very useful and thanks for watching